Welcome to the spoken tutorial on convex lenses. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to change the focal length and see the kind of image formed. Change the object distance and object height and see the kind of image formed. Calculate the magnification and length of the telescope tube. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04 Firefox web browser version 62.0.3 To follow this tutorial, learner should be familiar with apps on physics. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. I have already downloaded apps on physics to my downloads folder. In this tutorial, we will use Image Formation by Converging Lenses and Refracting Astronomical Telescope Apps. Right click on Image Converging Lens underscore en.htm file. Select Open with Firefox Web Browser option. Image Formation by Converging Lenses app opens in the browser. The app shows a ray diagram of the convex lens. Before moving to the app, let us first be familiar with a ray diagram. Let us define principal axis. It is an imaginary line passing through the optical center. A vertical axis divides the lens into two equal halves. There are four positions on the principal axis. These positions are 2f, f, f prime and 2f prime. f is the focal length and 2f is twice the distance of focal length. f prime and 2f prime are on the opposite side of the lens with the same distance as f and 2f. Now let us open the app. Let us use the scale to spot the positions of focal length f and 2f. Initially, the object is placed at the zero position of the scale. The distance of the object from the lens is 50 cm. The vertical black line beyond the lens is a screen. This screen can be moved back and forth. Blue arrow indicates the height of the object. It is placed beyond 2f. 2f is twice the distance of the focal length f. From the app, the focal length is 10 cm, so position of 2f has to be at 20 cm. Green arrow indicates the image formed by the convex lens. In the green control panel, we can edit the values of the following parameters. Change the value of focal length to 20 cm and press enter. At the bottom of the green panel, there are two radio buttons, principal light rays and bundle of light rays. By default, principal light rays option is selected. A drop-down is provided to emphasize different parameters. From the drop-down list, select object distance. Observe that the app emphasizes the object distance using a blinking line. The blinking line disappears after some time. We can also change the object distance by dragging the object. As we drag, the value in the text box changes accordingly. Press F5 key on the keyboard to refresh the app. Now change the value of the object height to 15 cm. Change the focal length to 20 cm. Let us learn about the ray diagram. The ray emerging from the object is parallel to the principal axis of the lens. This ray after refraction passes through the second principal focus F prime. A second ray of light passes through the optical center of the lens. 
this ray after refraction emerges without any deviation. A third ray passes through the first principal focus. This ray after refraction is parallel to the principal axis. The image is formed at point of intersection of the three rays. Let us change the position of the object and see where the image appears. Change the object distance to 40 cm and object height to 10 cm. The kind of image is real, inverted and equal dimension. This is the condition for 2F. When object is at 2F, the image will appear at 2F prime. Here, the object distance and height will be equal to image distance and image height. Drag the object between 2F and F. Drag the object to 10 cm. Here we can use the scale to take the measurement. Observe that the image is formed beyond 2F prime. The image formed is real, inverted and magnified. Drag the object between F and optic center. Drag the object to 30 cm. Observe that image is formed at the first principal focus behind the object. Here the image formed is virtual, upright and magnified. As an assignment, change the focal length of a convex lens to 10 cm and its object distance to 15 cm. What characteristics of the image do you observe? Let us move to Next App. To open the app, right click on refractor underscore en dot htm file. Select the option Open with Firefox Web Browser. The app opens with Refracting Astronomical Telescope. Before moving to the simulation, please read the information given on the screen. Scroll down the screen. In the yellow panel, the bigger lens is the objective. The objective has a large focal length. Here, the smaller lens is an eyepiece. The red colored rays indicate the light from a distant object. Light rays from a distant object enter the objective lens. After refraction, a real image is formed at the second focal point. Then the eyepiece magnifies the image. The image formed is enlarged and inverted. The magnified image of six brightest stars of the Pleiades is seen in the black circle. In the green panel, focal lengths of objective and eyepiece can be edited. Here we can vary the focal lengths of objective and eyepiece from 0.05 meter to 0.5 meter. As per the changes in the focal lengths, app calculates angles and magnification. At the bottom of the screen, app has given the formula for magnification. That is, V equals to minus F1 upon F2. Here, V is the magnification, F1 is the focal length of objective and F2 is the focal length of eyepiece. Let us calculate the magnification using the formula. Change the focal length of objective to 0.45 meter and eyepiece to 0.1 meter. Observe that app has calculated the value for magnification. Notice the changes in the black circle. If we increase the focal length of the objective, image will be more magnified. Let us now calculate the length of the telescope tube. Change the focal lengths of objective and eyepiece to their default values. Press F5 key on the keyboard to restart the app. 
formula to calculate the length of the telescope tube is the sum of focal lengths of objective and eyepiece. That is L equals to F1 plus F2. Here F1 is focal length of objective and F2 is focal length of eyepiece. Substitute the focal lengths and calculate the length of the telescope tube. Observe that the length of the telescope is 0.6 meter. Now reverse the focal lengths of the objective and eyepiece. Observe that the six brightest stars of the Pleiades appears to be a single point. This is because the focal length of the objective is smaller than that of the eyepiece. As an assignment, solve this numerical. Let us summarize. Using these apps, we have changed the focal length and seen the kind of image formed. Change the object distance and object height and seen the kind of image formed. Calculated the magnification and length of the telescope tube. These apps were created by Walter Friend and his team. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This is Himanshi Karvanje from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.